it's Josh Sebo again, the COO of OperaVault.com, the industry's largest affiliate offer search engine. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel for more great interviews, the latest affiliate news, and free training. Today, we have another very special guest on the show with us. He's the head of the affiliate department at EverAd and another advertising client on OfferVault.com. Let's welcome to the show, Igor Kolesnikov. What's up, Igor? Woo! Yeah, hi. (laughs) The intro was great. Yeah, I'm good. Thank you. (laughs) What's about you? (laughs) I'm doing good as well. I'm so glad that you're very excited to be here. Where are you talking to us from today? Uh, it's my apartment from Kiev. Yeah, because we are all on quarantine also till 22nd of May. So it's on the latest news. So yeah, uh, everyone in Everett at the moment working from home. Do you enjoy working from home? Actually, yeah. I came to office work from freelance and um, uh, office was something great for the last two years uh, and they thought that it's only one way how to how you can be productive but up to this experience I think um, dedicated work is not is not so bad and I'm okay at the moment only I I, I had to buy a chair a table to the apartment so not only to play at home on the PC <laughs> oh, okay cool so why don't you tell us what you were doing before EverAd and before affiliate marketing? What were some jobs that you used to work before you actually were in this industry? Oh, yeah, for sure. I have had a long way to affiliate marketing. So, like, I managed to work as a bartender in Poland, uh, as a helper of waiter in USA. Yeah, helper of waiter, you know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Did you know that uh, we have such position? So yeah, you were, you were like, uh, we call it a busboy. Yeah, busboy. And um, so, busboy, yeah, yeah, exactly. I was a busser yeah, yeah. in Houston. So uh, also in USA, I was a host in a restaurant. Previously, I was a bus guide in Turkey. So I searched for myself for a very long time. And um, once I heard about... A Ah, also, um, I even tried uh, MLM marketing, yeah, multi-level marketing, something mm-hmm. like that. It was like my last stop before affiliate marketing. Um, just once, my friend told me that uh, you you can do something else, not only MLM marketing or bartendering, something like that. And uh, I started to learn more about affiliate marketing. Actually, it was like necessary step because um, before affiliate marketing we tried to build our own uh, online shop for youtube bloggers we saw that it is a it is a good idea we built our website found some uh, suppliers and another stuff opened our website but understood that oh we don't have a client so where can we get them and uh, this moment we uh, spoke to our friend and he told it okay guys without marketing you would not yeah, you would not have any sales so and i try to understand how i can uh, find customers yeah so how i know you briefly mentioned affiliate marketing in that previous answer so how did you find your way into the affiliate marketing industry what was like the first uh the first step yeah. into getting into this work yeah, so we opened our shop um, and uh, was searching for a guy who can help us with it. And we know only one guy who earning an internet at this moment. Uh, we had a conversation with him and he told that he's making a lot of money um, by making fraud applications for installs. So previously it was easier maybe, of course. At this moment, I did not know anything what means fraud or in applications. But uh, when he showed that he can earn something like $300 per day, I was, okay, man, deal, I will try it. For sure, it, <laughs> it was harder um, when you don't do a fraud, but fraud, yeah, I think it's correct. But um, <clears throat> I, I started to read a lot about uh, affiliate marketing and after like we tried to drive some traffic but we were students we didn't have enough money uh, and with like um, free traffic was not good also we tried some 
dating uh, offers by spam, uh, but um, we got only some big pics actually, not <laughs> not conversions. <laughs> <laughs> so um, after half year of the struggling, we um, I decided to go to some courses uh, to find some job, and it was um, uh, targeting advertising on Facebook. Um, and on these courses, I, I met a guy who worked in a network, in financial network in, uh, in Moscow. And I had some experience with copywriting and have a lot of theoretical knowledge about affiliate marketing. So, and he was uh, searching for a guy like me who can work for not a lot of money, but who can write about affiliate marketing. And uh, this was my first dedicated job for $300 per month, I think it was, but it was cool. It was very cool because I can sit at home and earn some money. Mm -hmm. And how did you end up at Everad? What was the transition from that to Everad where you are now? So, yeah, I spent some time um, uh, in this company. We started some, with this guy, we started some projects uh, with online education. Um, mm, and once I met a guy who who told me interesting business model. Uh, he was traveling around the world and um, on some different conferences. We met with him in Kiev on anti confa conference. It's interesting, like uh, stuff in Ukraine. If you will be here in summer, uh, in, <laughs> I invite you. It, it will be great experience. So, and he told that his business model is very simple. He just drinking with guys on these conferences um, and searching for ad direct advertisers and for heads of affiliate teams. Uh, and after two or three conferences, uh, he had a lot of contacts and he was trying just to match them for his small commission. It was like something like CPA network, but without any website, without any platform, just uh, offline, offline contacts. And advertisers were paying him some small commission. It was good for them. It was good for affiliate because they don't need to, to search for good offers. And uh, this guy just invited me to connect to him because um, uh, I can manage all contacts and other stuff. And um, after all this period of freelance, uh, I understood that all this unstable, very unstable because affiliate sometimes run traffic, sometimes no, uh, and, but you should pay for your rent and <laughs> for food. Uh, and I decided to search something and find, uh, find out how big companies work. Um, fortunately, Everett, Everett had office in Kyiv and, uh, this was my first uh, interview in Everett and they like invite me to work with them <laughs> and uh, after like year and a half I became a head of affiliate and now I'm here for a year already wow that's very cool so let's pretend I know nothing about Everad the company can you tell our users a little bit about Everad and what you guys focus on in this industry yeah, uh, so Everett works exclusively only with in-house direct offers uh, in niche of beauty and health, so Nutra, we can call it. And uh, we work only at the moment on COD model, cash on delivery. I know that it's not so popular in tier one and tier two, uh, in tier one, I think mostly, but uh, our time is coming, I think, because thanks for this model, our webmasters can work um, not only in tier one countries, but in tier two, in tier three, where internet only comes to people and everything that we made uh, here already or in USA, uh, for them, it's so new. Um, so um, our model allows people to first to our customers firstly to see uh, what they would get on the post and only then pay uh, it's i think the main like difference between trial straight sale so the cod we pay the master when uh, our call center approve leads but we take money only when customers pay on the post. So all risks are on us. 
but this model helps us to work in Asia, in Eastern Europe, uh, mm -hmm. and we will, I think, work in more poor countries um, where model with credit cards are not possible at all because people don't believe and don't, and can't pay online. Mm -hmm. So when people hear the name EverAd, what do you want them to think of? Like in one or two words, what do you want them to associate your company with? So I want to know to them, they work directly, directly with a direct advertiser, uh, receive the highest payments on the market. Uh, and uh, they work with companies that are already seven years on the, mar on the market. EverAd is reliability, honestly, and continuous development. Is that one of those um, scratch off maps behind you there? Yeah, yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen those advertisements yeah. on Facebook. Yeah, so what, you go to a place and then you scratch off the country or, or the state or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there are not a lot maybe, but yeah. uh, but I, I, have a, I have a target already. I want to see target. this colorful. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. Uh, so where do you see the industry heading in the next few years? It, it obviously looks like you like to travel a lot, but I'm assuming with everything going on right now, you might not be traveling much for a little while. Related to the industry, how do you think people are going to have to adjust um, with everything going on? So actually, I can't tell that we feel something that everything is changed at this moment because even on quarantine um, people are still have their problems with health with with their weight and i don't know with sex something like that so all these main problems and uh, we didn't have problems at all uh, maybe our main problem is facebook was but i think in general um, the industry have two big different ways at the moment so First of them, uh, that all verticals uh, and sources will go to white. So this trend has uh, persisted over the past couple of years. Native networks are increasingly demanding on the quality of promotion materials, products. So all products should be licensed and certificates. So it's a little bit uh, hard. But I think it's a, it's a good way because business should be like clean and clear. And um, the second way, it's uh, the expansion of affiliate marketing in the new geos. Because uh, I think last 10 or, 10 or 20 years, um, affiliate marketing was maybe the last 20 years, affiliate market was only in USA, in Canada, in all these tier one countries. But only last 10 years, uh, countries like, for example, Russia uh, or five years ago, Asia come on this arena of affiliate marketing with uh, different niches, with new people. And I think that's the main vector. So affiliate marketing will be really like worldwide and uh, new countries, new customers and so on. Very cool. What would be some advice that you personally would tell a new internet marketer or a brand new affiliate who's just getting started in this industry right now? So I can tell that they should have patience and understanding that this is a real job, real job, because in CIS market, uh, an understanding of this is only beginning to come. Because we have a lot of affiliate, um, well, in affiliate marketing, uh, engaged a lot of young guys who wanted to make money quickly. It's like in our region. Uh, previously, it was really possible um, to make a good amount from Facebook and to earn a lot of money sitting like by yourself at home. But now only those who have built processes and um, they are very serious about what they're doing, they are working successfully. So if you are only at the beginning of your journey, uh, then I think you should stock on the budget and be prepared for the fact that it's only an investment investment uh, in your training. So you should be ready to lose this money, but earn some experience. So also I recommend to firstly study only one source and uh, traffic source and maybe two, three verticals. Uh, and after that, focus on them. Only focus and do not try to jump from source to source uh, in the hope that 
somewhere there is this money button that we can push and everything will be good. No, mm -hmm. I think money will come after you gain a lot of skill and a lot of experience. As also, I can recommend keep an eye on your health because your nervous system will suffer for the first time when you will see all this in red, that your money disappears in test. First, I think it's very hard. Um, so, yeah, health, patient, and work hard. <laughs> Only this can help, I think. Well, I know you mentioned and I mentioned at the beginning of the interview that you are the head of the affiliate department. So you oversee all the affiliate managers, which leads right into my next question. What do yeah. affiliate managers at EverAd look for in these affiliate applications that you receive? What are some of the most important qualities that you guys look for when you get a new sign up? Uh, so for me, um, only personal like uh, conversation is really cool because I can, I'm not so professional in all this HR stuff and uh, all these skills because affiliate manager should be a friend firstly to an affiliate. And it's, it's hard if you are like not open-minded, if you're not kind and uh, so on. So that's why only uh, after an interview, I can tell if, if this guy or this girl, uh, uh, with good sense of humor. Uh, also, uh, affiliate manager should be very stress resistful because for sure we have a lot of stresses and um, uh, they should not be scary because affiliate managers works, work, it's not like a regular job. You can't come at nine and uh, go home at six and turn off your phone it's 24 7 and it's only for very communicative persons and also with analytic skills so at the moment uh, in my in my team there is no such pattern that i can like tell that these guys with these skills would be cool no it's it's just uh, I it's kind of all... like a feel thing like you gotta just feel a yeah. connection yeah 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 if if this affiliate manager can can be good on interview and if uh, he or she can prove in two or three months that he can understand uh, in general what is going on he will be good and if he can answer at i don't know 12 uh, or 11 p.m to the affiliate and if he if affiliate manager understands that every his answer is money for company and for affiliates it would be good. <laughs> awesome. Well, I know you said, you know, affiliate managers can't be scary. That's probably why you're not an affiliate manager because you're a very scary person. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> so we got you laughing. That was the whole goal of that. Good job. So moving along, how do you define the concept of success? What, is it, what does it mean to you to be a successful person? So for me, it's to do what you can do your, can do best at the moment, uh, to have a target. Uh, so, and if you see the way, uh, where you're going, uh, it's already good. Also, I think um, relationship is very, it's very important part of life. So if you have only money and, and nothing more, it will be bad, but relations without money would be also bad. So <laughs> I think money, love, and some free time for spend this money and try something new. Has there been a specific failure in your life that you look back on and you just see it as a really good learning experience, but maybe a specific moment in your professional career that taught you a lot that helped get you to where you are now? Uh, yeah, so it's it's is a moment before I started to work in Everett. Uh, I was like working freelance for the last four or five months, maybe, and I was I was able to get uh, to know the right people and got uh, interested for them, and advertisers paid me good, but I was I don't know too. Uh, I was so sure that it will continue for months and I don't need to do anything. But at the last uh, two months, uh, I didn't uh, 
get any money, any percent uh, from my advertisers and understood that, okay, okay, man. So you you were partying, uh, you got a lot of free time and just were spend, uh, spending money a lot. And now what you will do, how to pay rent. So, and uh, because of this, I don't know, uh, party style, lifestyle, um, I understood that I'm... Uh, broke at all uh, but <laughs> but uh, for with the help of this fail uh, I got to around uh, found my job and even my girlfriend uh, at the moment not not at work uh, but uh, at one of the conferences so I think sometimes these failures can show us that it's only the beginning of something better and you never know where you will come after this failure so it sounds like a quote from a Facebook, but sorry, <laughs> I can't, I can't tell better. <laughs> yeah, no, that was good. We should frame that on a motivational poster or something like that. So yeah, what's, yeah, yeah. what's a really good investment that you've made recently? Maybe it's a physical product that's increased your work efficiency, or maybe it's a change in the way of your thinking, but what's something that you really are happy you invested your money or time in? Yeah, it's, it's a really good question. Uh, so um actually when i worked like this bus boy in america um every morning i looked at people who come to the cafe or to the restaurant uh order themselves like a glass of prosecco at 11 a.m maybe and they were sitting with their laptops and doing something and everything looked so cool so they seemed to me uh inaccessible uh i don't i didn't understand what are they doing um but I I made only one decision. I had to buy a laptop like MacBook. All of them had MacBooks at this moment. Yeah. So, um, so I just uh, understood that I need to do this step and uh, spend all my money from this work and travel program program on a MacBook. I I did it, uh, but I didn't know how to. Uh, take my money back from this uh, from this right. MacBook. So then but you I, bought I, I, then you I, bought some yeah. prosecco. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sometimes, <laughs> and and I had this idea. So I started to search how to earn money on internet. So yeah, first it was MLM, but I so this MacBook like told me fake it uh, until you will make it yeah something right. like that right it was it was my fake it because i was sitting in the cafe and was reading about mlm with this prosecco without money but with macbook and then in a year maybe some money comes with the help of this macbook and then somebody else was looking at you and he's like "Ooh, that guy's successful i need a mac yeah and yeah, yeah, maybe you know. Trickle down effect. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe this is like a joke for for everyone in the world. Like the just biggest, buy a MacBook. The, the big, yeah, the biggest lie. <laughs> the so, best marketing of Apple. I know you like to travel, uh, but what else do you like to do with your free time when you're not working? What do you like to do for fun? So actually, like play football. Um, I like stand up. I even try to make some stand up shows. Oh really? Really cool. Yeah, yeah. It was. You wanna you wanna do your you wanna do your routine for us right now? <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> something like that. But I have some one unusual habit. I think it's it's a little bit stupid, but it's let's it be honest in through you. So I like to watch like uh, some gaming streams. So uh, I used Twitch. I used to play yeah, yeah yeah Twitch yeah. So I used to play a lot of Dota earlier. But now I'm too lazy to play and I not, don't have so a lot of free time to play good. Mm -hmm. But for me, streams are the perfect backdrop for my lazy day. So, for example, last Saturday I watched about six or seven hours of the new Mountain Blade 2 game. And uh, it looks strange from the outside, but yeah. for me it's like the, the best uh, discharge of the brain. Because yeah. even when you watch some movies, you're just seeing what, uh, what are they right. doing and, right, and right, all right. the sense of the film. But with streams, no problem. You can just sit, relax, and eat your pizza. Nice. What would be uh, some advice you would give to a student coming out of uni right now or maybe just getting ready to enter the real world? What would you tell them they should focus on in order to find success and start the path of a successful career? So uh, I can recommend 
starting dating the real world as soon as it's possible. So not just to wait until you will graduate from uni and uh, start your real life, because real life is now for you. Uh, try different professions. Try your hands at various fields and look for what the soul lies to, because uh, if you will find, I can congratulate you. It's like the first step to success. Uh, even if at the beginning, the path will be very difficult and uh, when your friends and family with stable works will judge you, your choice, remember that that's only one, uh, that only persons who can wait for these results and who believe in them can earn these results. And uh, and don't drink, yeah. <laughs> don't drink too much. <laughs> don't drink too much. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's probably very hard for a lot of uni students to do. They all like to party. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's I know it's on myself, so. <laughs> oh, yeah, me too. I went to college. Uh, so do you have any <laughs> bad recommendations? Or I'm sorry, do you hear any bad recommendations being given in the affiliate marketing space or the Nutra space that you personally disagree with that you might tell our viewers to stay away from? So oh, I can tell in general that um, maybe um, all this CIS affiliate marketing uh, stuff is a little bit, I, I can't say not dirty, but in general, like uh, when people start to run some traffic for neutral or something like that, um, sometimes for sure it's not so quality product, yeah, or like some adult games. And they think if they run not like perfect and not the best stuff in the world they can behave not good but i think that um, it's not correct at all um, because people think that it's only one day to earn money and the future does not exist so some a lot of people trying to cheat and grab their piece uh, this approach does not work at all after like three years on the market i understand it for sure uh, remember that uh, human relationships are, and trust are the most important cap capital that people have. So don't try to waste it. Don't try to earn as much as it possible at the moment. Think about future. Be honest and it will be your friends will help you in future. Why don't you tell us about a like your biggest regret in life, something you look back on and you wish you would have done differently besides partying too much. Cause we already talked about that. Yeah. But you know, um, I thought, I thought about this question and actually it's only one habit that I can tell that it's really, really, really bad because at the age of 15 and or 16, so uh, I was born not even in Kiev, like in Lugansk in it's on the, uh, southwest on the east of Ukraine so and it was really cool to drink at 15 16 uh, and this habit continue to to be with me at this moment sometimes of course it helped me to get some cool uh, contacts it helps sometimes in networking but with years it's getting harder uh, and uh, just don't start it at all mm -hmm. Because it's my really best regret. It's really hard to to change the life like when right. you're in for ten years already. <laughs> right, right, right. What's your favorite achievement? Something you're really proud of that you accomplished? So actually, at the moment, I think my biggest achievement is uh, is my team, and because uh, it's my first experience with manage with management in general. Uh, and when I came to the head of the department, I had to change and rebuild a lot of things. It was necessary to prove myself and the guys uh, that I can share useful knowledge and experience with them. So now I can be uh, sure that we have the best support, 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 maybe not the best for sure. It's not, uh, not, not humble, but um, a really strong um, team on the affiliate marketing because my guys now can answer anytime they can help both in the choice of the offer or with technical part also they can even give you creative i don't know freelancers lenders because all of them very deep in um, uh, in affiliate marketing in general and i think it's the um, uh, main target that i 
that they posted for, for me at the beginning. And for sure, yeah, we made like the record of sailings uh, last month, not last month, at, at March. And I think for me, it's a great achievement because it's also with the help of, of my team. Igor, thank you so much for being on the Affiliate Marketing Show. That was a fantastic interview. Before we let you go, we're going to play a little game I like to call the Offer Vault Hot Seat. Here's how it works. We're going to ask you a series of five would you rather questions. Not sure if you're familiar with this, but basically we're going to say, would you rather do this or would you rather do that? Not related to affiliate marketing. We're just going to have a little fun. So I should choose what I will prefer to do, yeah? Correct. Okay. 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 Let's try. Okay. Question one. Would you rather be able to speak every language or be able to talk to animals? For sure. Talk to animals. Over. So you'd rather talk to animals instead of speak every language in the world? Yeah, for sure. Because we can speak English with everyone. But do you know what about dog thinking? What what? How their life is? <laughs> how their yeah. life is? So for me, it's more interesting. <laughs> okay. Question two: Would you rather take a guaranteed one hundred thousand dollars or a fifty-fifty chance of a million dollars? So I could say I'm going to give you a hundred thousand dollars right here, mm-hmm. or we're going to flip a coin. You call heads or tails, and if you get it right, you'll get a million dollars. Which one would you do? I'm not a gambler, so yeah, one hundred dollars will be okay for me. I will. One hundred thousand. But one hundred thousand, yeah, yeah, one hundred thousand will be enough to to invest in something at the moment. <laughs> all right, all right, I like that answer. Playing it safe. Question three: Would you rather create new history or be able to delete old history? To build new, for sure. It's, I think more interesting to build. Every, every time is more interesting because to destroy something is easier. <laughs> yeah, and it might have like a crazy butterfly effect, you know, you like take something out of history and then like all of a sudden there's like flying cars everywhere. <laughs> it will be cool. Question four, would you rather have unlimited battery life on your cell phone or unlimited gas in your car? Oh, it's a very hard question because uh, honestly, uh, sometimes I want to turn off my phone and I'm not a fan of driving, but I prefer a gas because it's harder to add gas to the mobile than to, to my car than yeah. to charge a phone. Okay, I like that. Yeah, I'd probably go with uh, the gas because, you know, I got that new Galaxy and that battery lasts forever. (laughs) Question five. Would you rather find a rat in your kitchen or a cockroach in your bed? So my students, (laughs) my, uh, yeah, I think, I think a rat in the kitchen is not a problem at all, yeah. Let bed be clean. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> Igor, again, you've been a great guest. Thank you for playing the Offer Vault Hot Seat and for being on the Affiliate Marketing Show. Before we end this interview, I just want to give you the floor for any final thoughts you want to share with our users about EverAd. Go ahead. Yeah, guys, thank you for watching. Uh, I hope my English wasn't so bad. So uh, if you want to earn the best payouts and approval rates uh, with COD offers, please connect me. I hope some like my Telegram or email will be below this video. So also at the moment we have a contest for three supercars. It's BMW, uh, Lexus and, uh, and something else. Uh, <laughs> ah, yeah, and Range Rover, and Range Rover, yeah, the main, the main price. So the first car um, we will give in the in the month, I think. So, but you still have a chance to win because it's like a lottery. So, have a good day. Thank you for watching. Earn some money with Evera, and it was a pleasure to be here today. For Igor from Everad and myself, Josh from Offer Vault, let's make that paper, let's make that dough. This was the Affiliate Marketing Show. We'll see you next time, everyone.